Our next step in the process of creating our water blaster is we're going to be making a 3D model of your design. So by now you should have three rough designs in layout. They'll look something like this. Remember you need all the parts labeled. You should have your rough dimensions and everything. This is just the sample that was taken from the YouTube tutorial and I will use this one right here to create our little model. So what we're going to be doing is using this program right here called Inventor. It's a 3D modeling program, or you may also see it called a CAD program, CAD. So CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. And what that is, is we're going to be making a 3D model in the computer to very tight specifications. So that way, if you want to change your design or anything later on, it's very easy just to change a couple of numbers, change a couple of clicks and everything, instead of if you were doing it in real life, you would have to completely create a whole new one. So to open up Inventor, it's right here on your desktop. It says Autodesk Inventor Professional, or you go to your Start menu. If you just type in Inventor, be careful because you have Inventor, Autodesk Inventor Professional, and on Inventor View. You do not want View. You want Autodesk Inventor Professional and whatever year it is. So when you open that up, the very first time you open it, you'll have a different screen than this. It'll say either start working or start learning. Start learning just brings you to some tutorials, but just hit the start working button. So this is the home screen of Inventor. If you've opened any files before, you have them down here in the bottom. These are all of your files, so these right here are my files on my computer. Then up here you have some new parts, assemblies, drawings, and presentations. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our own single piece of PVC pipe. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to go up here to New, just click on it, and here you have some templates. So if you're working in inches, over here you want to use English. If you're working in millimeters, you want to use metric. So if I click that, I get different things right here. Over here, right here, I have four different files I can create. I can create a part, which will make just a single piece, like a piece of PVC pipe or one of the elbows. I have an assembly, where I will take multiple parts and put them all together. I have drawing, where I can make a technical drawing of it, or a parts list, we'll be doing that. And then there's a presentation. So for this project, our water blasters will be making a part, an assembly, and a drawing. We will not be making a presentation. So let's start out by making our piece of PVC pipe. Let's go to a part. Remember, make sure you have English, part, and a standard part in inches. Go ahead and hit Create. So it brings you to a blank screen right here. Anytime in Inventor you want to do something, you have to first draw it with this sketch button, a 2D sketch. You will use the sketch tools and then there will be a finish over here. So we're going to hit start sketch. Very first time you hit that, you've got these three planes right here. This is your X, Y, and Z axis, your X, Y plane, Y, Z, X, Z. So remember we're working in a three-dimensional environment. So we have to worry about our X, our Y, and our Z axis here. So right now, it doesn't really matter, just click on one of them. I'm just going to hit the X, Z plane. And it brings me right here. So this right here is my origin of my X and Z axis. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create this little piece of PVC pipe. Because throughout this process, you're going to be needing to create these to whatever lengths are in your specific design. So we're going to learn how to make one, and then you can adapt it as needed. 